hope you are all well. Um, this is my obviously my my second week of paternity leave starting now, um, and I am back next Monday the fourth. So you have three more hours by yourselves. That can be very valuable. Um, you don't, they don't have to be wasted by any way, shape or form. You can get pretty much the same amount of work done whether I'm there or not. The vast majority of the course we've done now, sure. Um, so well able to work away by yourselves. Just so what I want you to do, three days worth of work plus um, what you're going to be doing at home to start kind of bring the stuff that are gone out of the memory now because we haven't done them in so long back to the front of the head so we can start um, becoming more comfortable with exam papers. So number one, of course, right down the bottom here is mocks 2024. Okay, so I gave you back your mock there on Thursday. So what I'd like you all to do is, and like I said, this is the most important part I mean, the actual process is just learning to sit still um, for, for that amount of time. The result is the result. And like I said, you'll, you, you'll have forgotten now in a few weeks. Um, but whether you're doing the higher or doing the order, I want you to fully correct. So in there, you have the marking scheme, the full marking scheme for higher and ordering. So what I want you to do is go through it with a fine tooth comb. Now, remember the way we correct stuff. So before you even go near the marking scheme, use your notes. Go through your questions. Go go go, um, go back into the folders um, in the school you doc. See can you find the answers first before using the marking scheme, and then so if you if you wrote your exam in blue, supplement your answers using the notes in black, and then write the correct answers or the ones that um, you got wrong. Then after you've you yeah, used the notes, um, using the marking scheme, so spend a bit of time. Also, we no harm to do whether you're doing the higher or whether you're and definitely if you if you're now deciding to move to the ordinary level, do the ordinary level mock. So the leaving cert mock 2024 in ordinary level is up there as well. So this is the marking scheme in the middle here for both higher and ordinary. Up top you have the ordinary level paper, and then bottom you have the higher level paper. But give definitely today's class, um, or Monday's class, um, giving that a shot because well, 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 well worth spending time because it gets you to revise a couple of topics, or eight topics, in uh, in the one go. Okay, so that's today and maybe this evening as well to spend a good bit of time making sure you're then comfortable with every question on the higher level paper or indeed, if you're moving to ordinary, do the full ordinary level paper. And that'll take you, well, three hours, I suppose. So there's plenty of work there. Last week and most importantly, our last topic the last mandatory topic is this one down here and last week i gave you a load of different ways you can take the notes you probably didn't get all those done so i want you to finish taking your notes on the types of reactions it's chapter 23 in the book um, and like i said last week you can use the textbook or you can use the um revision document which is number three here you can use the notes that i would have used for you in class is up here um whichever suits you um, but go through the notes in organic chemistry. Um, it's our last chapter in, our, in, in organic. It's definitely coming up in question eight, probably coming up in question two as well. Um, and if you, if you match that with fuels and heats and the alkanes, alkenes, we have a guaranteed question two, question six, and question eight. For a good few of you who get really good at organic chemistry, this is going to be almost half of your exam, three out of eight questions. So well, well worth putting the time into. If you're finished your notes, so if you're happy enough, you've done all the notes, then what I'm gonna do next Monday is I'm gonna go really, really quick through this PowerPoint here. So you'll have the notes taken already, and I'm gonna go through it in a class, even less, 40 minutes. I'm gonna go through all the different pathways, the mechanisms of reaction. How do you go from an alkane to a chloroalkane? How do you go from an alkene to a bromoalkane? All those kind of ones that you've been working on last week and this week, so make sure you have the notes taken. Um, it will be worth your while, and this is on the higher and the ordinary level, so well worth your while. Um, when you're finished that then, go down and have a look here. The last one, last folder in here is your revision questions. Now, what you've been doing last week and this week, taking these notes, is all question number eight. All gonna be question number eight. Question number two, you'll be able to do most of those now. So question number two could be clove oil, which we've done, could be soap, which we've done, could be ethene or ethine, which you've also done. There's a three more experiments for us to do, which I'm going to start next week with us. We're gonna do finish off those experiments next week. So by Friday week, we'll have done the notes and the um, experiments and the questions. And technically then, that's it. 
that's it done dusted in a nutshell okay so basically there's it to, to kind of sum up where you're going today is you're going to um get your mock fully corrected if you're moving to ordinary try the ordinary level paper and fully correct it and um then you're going to finish off your organic notes so your types of reactions notes and then you're going to try some of the organic chemi um, chemistry revision questions in particular the question eights because they will be the questions on what you've just taken the notes on as well as some of the stuff that we did last year and um, like draw an alkyne do you recognize an aldehyde that kind of stuff okay and i'll be flying through that um and um um we'll do the experiments next week um the last thing i wanted to say to you is that we would like to do another mock so when i um, we have four weeks from from monday today to um easter holidays and at the easter holidays we'd like to try the second mock the other mock paper that was designed for this year so um the idea is is now that we finished our last topic is to kind of start revising stuff in preparation for that next mock now whether we do it in school over the easter holidays or whether i give it to you and you send it to me that decision we'll make next week but to get that process in gear so after you've done your um after you've done your exam paper correction and the ordinary level paper and after you've finished taking your notes on organic chemistry and after you've finished those um organic chemistry revision questions i want you to start thinking about your schedule of revision so up here you'll see it lc chem um, chemistry materials so have a look in there in there there's loads of revision plan a study checklist the kind of summarized version like the maths of chemistry a mind map of leaving cert chemistry answers to experiment questions a list of definitions um there's our um, questions they ask in the experiments with their solution and then this is kind of a lab book so there's lots of stuff in there that you can kind of start thinking right how am i going to start revising this we have about seven weeks after easter and four weeks leading up to you so we've 11 weeks it's a long time but if we start with a checklist and a plan so that's something you can be kind of doing at home and then when you have your plan together say right here's all our topics they're all out here this was all start to fifth year then we went acid and base and titrations radioactivity so this is the the way we went through the whole course and can you say right can i start with maybe the history and the atom and the periodic table and niels bohr and crooks and rutherford and stuff like that um, and maybe between now and easter i want to get down as far as chemical bonding and then after easter i'm going to start moving through these kind of topics here down as far as tests for anions and then in my last term i'm going to do this so what we're kind of what, what's nice to have in the last term is who's coming in and saying right off you go what are you revising and i'm answering them the more difficult calculations the harder theoretical parts that are causing the problems and um, to help you dot the i's and cross the t's so last recap um you're starting number one you're going to fully correct your mock maybe try the ordinary level paper use the notes and then use the marking scheme then you're going into your types of reactions you're going to finish taking your notes on that and maybe try some question eights question eights if you want to go over your soap and your clove oil and your etine your etine there's questions on that in there as well um, and i'm going to go through that really quickly um next monday and um, we're going to do the experiments and that'll be that the course done and dusted once you have that done then you're then you're um, moving your mind towards revision and you're going back up to your leaving cell chemical chemistry materials and your your study plan and your mind map and your checklist and stuff like that and making yourself a list for three weeks up to easter or four weeks up to easter and seven weeks so 11 11 week study timetable realistic and in those in that time you want to hit all these bases so learn the notes do the exam questions correct your answers over and over again until you hit all the bases and that is the key to being ready for the exam in june like i said the mock results don't matter um you know once you have that paper corrected forget about it and we move on and um you know some of you will drop from that result some of you will improve massively on that mock results so we will not panic ourselves but it's time to get the head down and get working any questions at all obviously you can um email me i have my uh i'm ch checking my emails so any questions that you want me to look at it's no problem right have a great week and um i will see you all next monday